We've got this long-standing joke that The Sims team only announces new stuff or like drops new packs when I am busy. And it's funny because I'm not usually busy. Like I don't really leave the house very often. And yet for some reason, the one day I leave the house is when like a new announcement comes out or a new pack releases. It's gotten to the point where like, if people are wondering when the new stuff pack is gonna drop, they'll be like, well, Kayla, check your calendar. When do you have a dentist appointment? Probably that day. Okay, so let's set the scene. I have not left the house a single time all week. This morning, I went to tour a wedding venue. While I'm there, guess what gets posted on Twitter? Yeah, the new roadmap for The Sims 4. The Sims team has been doing this thing where every quarter they'll post a roadmap, which is basically just a list of all of the upcoming content for the next few months. It's typically pretty vague, so it might say like, oh, two new exciting kits and a fun base game update or something like that. But it is nice because we'll know if there's an expansion pack coming or if we're gonna get a stuff pack. And they also will often hide little Easter eggs of teasers in the the background of these images. If you remember last year we got that swimwear kit in that quarterly teaser before that one came out they had hidden some little icons of like sunglasses and t-shirts and swimsuits around in the background. So it's kind of fun we get to speculate we also kind of know what to expect vaguely for the next few months this way. And of course today we have gotten a new quarterly teaser so I thought we could look at it together and kind of decipher all of the stuff on it. I'll talk more about the wedding venue thing at the end of this video by the way I won't just like drop a bombshell like that and then leave it. We should just probably discuss The Sims first because that's what most people are here for. So the format with these quarterly teasers is they'll usually post some kind of weird, vague caption. So in this case, it says, cause a sensation with The Sims 4 this season with some very carefully selected emojis. And then they'll also change their profile picture and their header to like fit the season. So this season appears to be the sensation season. They kind of have like a weird label for it usually. And then they'll post a video. And I actually paused this real quick, so I haven't even seen it yet. We're gonna kind of like live react to it together. And this video will have like some pop-ups of like one kit, <laughs> one update or whatever it's gonna say. I'm pretty intrigued by the emojis they've chosen because that's not really what I was expecting. We already know the two kits that are coming because we voted on them a few months ago and they don't have anything to do with this. It's a medieval castle and a goth fashion kit. So like this is not screaming either of those things, but I'm gonna watch the video first so we can kind of get an idea of what to expect here. Prepare for a sensationally you season. Oh, jewelry box. Okay, two highly anticipated kits, one beautiful SDX drop, one sparkling stuff pack, one celebratory build kit, and one co-created style kit. Oh, cause a sensation from January to April. Wait, 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 wait. There's a stuff pack? I was fully prepared for this to be like, you're getting two kits, happy new year, and that was gonna be it. So there being four kits and a stuff pack is interesting to me. The stuff packs that we've gotten up until this point have been really good, at least recently. We just got the brand new Home Chef Hustle pack and that's like one of my favorite stuff packs they've ever made. Before that we had Paranormal and that was also like objectively one of the best stuff packs of all time for The Sims 4. So I have really high expectations for a new stuff pack. I'm really interested in the stuff that they're showing. This is kind of what I was talking about with the icons. So I'm really interested intrigued by this jewelry box because one, it's telling us something about jewelry, sort of. They're talking about sparkling and things like that, so there's probably something to read into from there. But there's also some imagery we can take from this. Like, for example, this is a gnome. I don't know if the freezer bunny and the grilled cheese and the eyeball ring, like, mean anything or if they're just, like, Sims memes. We're seeing that disco ball again again. So that's the second time they've shown that. We've got boots again too. I just never know how much of this is safe to read into and like how much of it means something. Like do you think this W means something or is it just like there? Surely they picked W for a reason, right? Like they didn't just put a random letter in there. I wonder if that is supposed to be like Simlish and be a word, like a name necklace and we just can't read it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. There's also gloves. So that's probably telling us something. Here on this side, we know about these two kits already. This is the medieval castle kit and the goth fashion kit. So this one's kind of obvious with like the fancy stained glass windows and like this little castle thing. We are seeing a couple new items from the goth fashion kit, like the gloves and this necklace. If you haven't seen this yet and you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the fan voted kit that we did. This was like way back in May, so it was a long time ago, but there were two kit choices and the winner was this goth fashion 
one. And then there were two build choices and the winner was this medieval castle one. So we've known for a long time that these two kits are coming and now they're actually finally coming. They're actually releasing probably soon. I wouldn't be surprised if they came out this month. I don't usually like to talk about leaks too much, but the medieval castle kit did leak already. And that usually happens when it's like a week before release because that's when it's starting to get sent out to retailers. The goth fashion one has not leaked, but obviously we already know about it. I'm trying real hard personally to avoid the leak because I'd like to be surprised by all the build items, especially. I don't really care about cast stuff too much, but like I really want to be surprised by the build things because I'm kind of excited about this pack. So I'm trying not to look at it, but it, it has leaked if you want to go look it up. And then it says one beautiful SDX drop. And I don't really know what to make of this. I guess probably just fashion related. This is where I'm wondering, like, does that W mean something? At first I was like, is it a townie refresh? But I don't, I can't think of anyone who would dress like this with a W name. And then like with the sensation wording and like the boots they were showing, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is just like a high fashion sort of update. SDX drops are usually not very big. It's usually like a couple things, like a small collection, maybe like one or two hairs kind of vibes, but it might be different. There isn't like a clear cut formula for those SDX drops. That means Sims Delivery Express. It's like a, a base game update, but usually a base game update that has new content. So like assets, you know, build items, cast items. This is pretty clearly screaming cast items to me. <laughs> it's also interesting because it seems like it's maybe a little bit similar to the stuff pack. This one says one sparkling stuff pack and there's like gems. We've got like these cut gems of a gnome and the jewelry. The thing that's like obviously coming to mind right now for me just from looking at this is that gem cutting machine from The Sims 3. So you know how in The Sims 4 you can like dig around in those rocks and find those crystals? The Sims 3 was kind of like that. You could like find gems and metals out and about in the environment and then you could use this gem cutting machine from the Supernatural expansion pack to cut them into shapes and if they were cut into fancy shapes they would sell for more money and there was like some kind of magical ones like one called Tiberium would grow once you would cut it and be worth like 42,000 simoleons. And I really loved this machine. Like I had all of my Sims use it. I would get their dog to go out and hunt the crystals for me because the dogs had like a hunting skill and they could find and dig up that stuff. And then I would bring it back, cut it, and then use it to pay for their house. That Tiberium paid for pretty much every single one of my legacy Sims homes for years in The Sims 3. So them talking about sparkling and like showing these cut gems is making that stand out to me. I don't know if that's what they're talking about, but maybe Maybe, like maybe there's a, I don't know, jewelry making. I'm like, usually stuff packs have a skill set involved. So maybe it is like a jewelry crafting skill. There's not really much to go off of just from these little icons. So I'm just throwing out ideas. I am really intrigued by this though. I really like the idea of this sort of thing. And I love the stuff packs. All of the stuff packs have been so good recently. So again, really high hopes here. And then one celebratory build kit. So this one is kind of making some more sense with like the, the disco ball and the balloons. They're also really heavy on the jewelry teasers with this, so it makes it seem like the stuff pack is like definitely jewelry related somehow. One celebratory build kit. So is it like party decor? Like party furniture and stuff? I guess I like the idea of a disco ball. I'm not mad about that. And more balloons and, and those sorts of things are always kind of fun to have too. It just makes me wonder if it's gonna be like really geared towards one type of party or if it will be kind of generic and you could use it for anything. Like could you use it as wedding decor and a birthday party decor or what's it? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. And then they also tease one more kit. This is one co-created style kit. So this explains some more of the other fashion items. It looks like this is probably a name necklace. And when they say co-created style kit, does that mean it's with a simmer, like as an actual simmer collab? Or do they mean co-created with like a fashion designer? Cause they've done both. <laughs> so I don't really know what to expect. Both are fine. I'm not mad about that either. I really like when they collaborate with Sims creators. I think it's really cool to almost give back to the community in that way. And also I really trust simmers and like their opinions for what should come to the game. So I hope they keep doing more collab kits. I think they've gotten a lot of really good feedback like this about collab kits. So they're kind of trying to make sure it's very obvious that it is a collab. I personally, as a person who's not very interested in fashion kits am more intrigued when you say it's a collab, like immediately I'm like, oh, maybe I'll like it more than I thought. And it's not that I don't like the other cast kits. It's just, I don't really care about create a sim assets very much. But when it's a collab with someone, I'm 
I'm kind of like, ooh, well, what did they suggest you add, you know? So I'm, I'm hopeful for this one too. Just calling it a style kit doesn't really mean anything to me though. I don't really know what to make of these items and this collection. And then it ends with cause a sensation between January and April. So that's another interesting thing to talk about. When do we think these things will actually come out? So full transparency, I don't know a single thing about this. This is purely just me guessing based on like what they've given us and what we've known from past releases. Considering the castle kit has already leaked, my guess would be like next week for it to come out. The kits leak a lot and it's usually really close to release, so I wouldn't be surprised if it did come out next week. I think that the leak had a date on it, but like I said, I I don't want to look at the date because I don't want to see the leak. So it's possible that you're like, yeah, Kayla, it's January 18th or like whatever the next Thursday is and we already know that, but again, I've been avoiding it. It seems like these things are probably in order of release release too, so maybe we'll get the SDX drop in February, the stuff pack in like late February, maybe March, and then the other two kits around April-ish? I don't, I don't know. I wonder if I'm reading into this too much too, but it's interesting to me that those other two kits are on the same slide, and then the last two are on two separate slides. Because as of recently, they've been having two kits come out at the same time, like a build kit and a fashion kit same day release, so I don't know if that's the plan here or if they're just on different slides because they want to be able to tease more and have more room. So this one was the last roadmap. It's from September to December, and I think it's kind of interesting to look back on this now that all that stuff has released. This one had an expansion pack, so it had some more teasers in it. But looking at this now, we can see the keys, we can see the teapot, we can see the food and the bills, and it's like, oh, duh, they're teasing the world and, and the new content from the for rent pack. But at the time, we didn't know about that stuff yet. They show one tasty stuff pack and then put some pizza. They say one neighborly expansion pack, and we've got all of the bills. And then they just said and more, because it was kind of a small season. <laughs> but look, there's waffles, there's pizza. So they're really being quite obvious about the kind of stuff that's coming, but just at the time, we didn't know that because we hadn't seen the content yet. Even down to like this tea, because we got the kettle in the new expansion pack. So once it's over, all of this becomes extremely obvious. And it's kind of funny to look back on what we were guessing about at the time. So this season is going to have the same experience probably. But I'm really curious to hear what your thoughts are on this teaser they've shown, specifically about the stuff pack, because that one probably has the most room for guesswork and interpretation. Kids are only small, it's like just some clothes, but stuff packs are big, they have gameplay and everything, so I'm, I'm curious to know what you're thinking right now. And obviously make sure you're subscribed here to my YouTube channel because as soon as we get any actual concrete news and not just weird little easter egg teasers, I will let you know. I like to make Sims News videos like this and kind of guess and speculate about stuff, and obviously when the packs actually come out we'll make a full review video. So I think that about covers it for the Sims teaser, but I do owe you an explanation for the wedding venue thing. So long story short, me and Dan are already married. We actually got married like two years ago, as many of you know, because at the time we had gone through a couple years long visa process to get him the K-1 fiance visa. He's from the UK, so for him to move here is kind of a whole ordeal. And you probably know about that K-1 fiance visa because I assume you've seen that show 90 Day Fiance. But on that visa, when you come here, you have 90 days to get married and then file an adjustment of status packet so we can get his green card. And because of all that paperwork, you kind of want to get married sooner in the 90 days. And you also also don't know when you're going to get the visa because you can't control when your application gets looked at or like when your interview is gonna be and all of that stuff. I've made whole videos about that process that I can link down below for you if you're curious. I made them like back when we actually got the visa. But basically you can't really plan like a wedding wedding on that visa because there's just not time. And that was also all happening kind of during the height of COVID so we wouldn't have planned like a wedding wedding anyway. So when we did get married it was like literally just my parents and us at the courthouse and that was beautiful. I loved it. But I think we would like to be able to celebrate like with his family and my extended family because at the time the borders were closed like his parents couldn't have come even if it was safe and they wanted to so it was just kind of like a weird time and I always figured that eventually I'd want to have like a, a wedding wedding and I guess that eventually is now because we've been touring some wedding venues I don't really know how much I want to talk about it on YouTube yet I don't like know how much I want to share publicly I realize I should probably be a little bit careful about like sharing too many planning details for like safety reasons but I will tell you the venue I went to today I think we're gonna book, so that's pretty exciting. It's kind of weird because I want to like show you, but it's also probably not safe to do that, at least not yet. And I know some people think this is like weird and they're gonna have opinions because like, yeah, whatever, I'm already married. But I still want to have like a ceremony with friends and family there and like a reception with friends and family there. So that this is what I want, okay? You can blame the weird visa process for all this, okay? It's not my fault. But anyway, that is kind of my little life update. We haven't really done that much planning yet because I wanted to tour a venue and then pick a date first and then 
go from there. Obviously it's like a ways away still. You plan these things really far in advance. But I think on that note, I'm gonna end this video right here. I am actually gonna be live on Twitch later today. I stream on Twitch every day. If you wanna come over and hang out with us, we play like The Sims pretty much every day. But I've also been playing some House Flipper recently. If you haven't seen this game, if you like The Sims, you will like House Flipper. Or I guess if you like building in The Sims, you'll like House Flipper. It's so cool. You like actually flip houses and paint walls and stuff. And there's a new one that just came out, but I'm, I'm gonna play Sims today. So if you wanna come by and hang out with us, we can chat more about like wedding stuff probably too. I'll link my Twitch channel down below. My name's just Lil Simsy on there, but I will actually go now and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. I gotta say, I really, really like that gnome gem that they've been showing. I kind of want one of those. And they put an eyeball ring in the teaser, iconic.